sweet, sticky Asian meatballs. And the real secret here is my technique for keeping those meatballs super tender and super juicy. So one of my pet hates is really dry, tough meatballs. No one wants any of that kind of action. So one of my key secret ingredients to make your meatballs really tender is to borrow a little bit from our Italian friends. Get some breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use panko breadcrumbs because I think they have a nice fine texture for this. And I'm going to add some chicken stock and make a little breadcrumb mush. That's the technical term for it. Um, now you will see this with Italian meatballs a lot, um, soaking the breadcrumbs in milk, but we're doing chicken stock this time because milk and Asian meatballs, mm, that just doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> okay, so let that soften up. We really want those breadcrumbs to get nice and soft. Now the meatballs themselves, I'm using a mixture of beef and pork. So I'm adding the pork in because you want a little bit of extra fat. The extra fat means extra flavor and extra juiciness. Now I'm also gonna add some spring onion and some garlic. Now a little bit of extra flavor here with some sesame oil. And now my breadcrumbs, they just took a few seconds to soften up there. Good to go now. And a really good, decent pinch of salt. All right, so I wanna mix this until it just comes together. An overworked meatball is like an overtired mum. Tough and not very caring. <laughs> All right. Now to make the rolling process a little easier, just dip your fingers into some water. And I want golf ball size meatballs today. Mm, I can really smell that sesame oil. It's just delicious already. All right, so to cook these guys, we just want a little bit of oil in our pan. And in they go. Now the key here is to not overcook your meatballs in this first stage. We just want some lovely, nice browning and color on the outside. We're gonna finish the cooking later in our sauce. It's all these little tips and tricks that are gonna give you the softest, juiciest meatball. Okay, now I've got a really lovely, nice caramelization on the outside of those meatballs. So I'm gonna take those out. Okay, now time for the sauce. So I've got a beautiful amount of pork and beef fat in my pan. Don't need to add any extra oil. I'm just gonna put my ginger straight in there. Mm, smell of that ginger, so good, so comforting. And I've got some strips of carrot as well. Now at this point, you could add a whole bunch of vegetables, whatever you like, um, you know, capsicum, be great, zucchini, lots of different options there. And I'm gonna go in with my chicken stock. This is gonna deglaze the bottom of that pan and lift off all of that flavor. And brown sugar, some soy sauce, and some hoisin sauce. All right, now get that bubbling and simmering away. Now to thicken everything up, I'm gonna add some corn flour that's been mixed with some water. And immediately that sauce is turning thick and glossy. So, I'm gonna get my meatballs straight back in there. Just give them a nice coating. Mm, now they look luscious already. Now here's the part where we let them do their final amount of cooking as gently as possible. Turn the heat down and put the lid on and then just let them steam away in that sauce until they're cooked through, about three or four minutes. Mm smell divine. Okay, now to finish off, I just want to serve these in some little cabbage leaves. Scoop that in there. You want lots of that carrot and ginger and all that lovely sauce as well. And then finally, just a sprinkling of spring onion. Now the real test. Let's see, did we succeed? That is so soft and tender. You guys will not believe it. Ah, now that's a meatball that makes me happy.